The Twinmotion 2025.2 preview has just been released, bringing a number of exciting new features. One of the most anticipated additions is the introduction of Nanite support in Twinmotion. For this demonstration, I'll be using the desert template sample. But before we begin testing, let's first take a moment to understand exactly what Nanite is. Nanite is basically a super efficient way of drawing triangles on your screen. It works through something called cluster culling. If you switch to the Nanite cluster view, you'll see a model broken down into lots of smaller clusters, each one shown in a different color. These clusters are determined by things like screen size, distance, and resolution. Now, what happens is pretty clever. Each cluster can either switch to a lower level of detail or disappear entirely when it's no longer visible. That means every object is managed almost at a per pixel level. But instead of handling individual triangles, it's done in clusters. Usually about 128 triangles each. The result? An insanely smart LOD system that lets us pack scenes with millions of triangles without melting your computer. And since all of this depends on your viewpoint, Nanite constantly adjusts detail on the fly using these clusters. Back in Twinmotion, I've prepared some sample tree models with a high amount of geometry and triangles, which can sometimes impact performance. Before we begin, let's first take a look at our quality settings. Everything is set to Ultra. Now, let's start populating the scene with trees while Nanite is disabled so we can see how it affects performance. At this point, keep in mind we are running at around 80 frames per second with no assets placed in the scene. At this point, my machine is struggling to handle all the meshes, and the frame rate has dropped to around 5 frames per second. So let's move on and further optimize the scene. Now that Nanite is enabled on the meshes, the application is able to process the scene much more efficiently. A mesh is a strong candidate for Nanite if it contains a large number of triangles or if those triangles become very small once rendered on screen. It's also ideal for meshes that have many instances within a scene, 
or for objects that act as major occluders of other nanite geometry, for example, a massive cliff face or any large, watertight mesh. These are excellent use cases for nanite. That said, these are only general guidelines. You don't need to follow them strictly. Feel free to experiment and see what works best for your project. I'm sure Twinmotion themselves will continue to refine nanite based on community feedback. Thank you for watching. Until next time.